last line. Adults do shit for money. There are no other reasons. No, I've done a few of these. Uh, probably about nine years worth. Just oh, sort of, cool. Yeah, it's kind of a hobby, just something I enjoy doing at all. So. Uh, I'm a sergeant with the Portland Police. So. <laughs> I need a little something different from my normal life to kind of balance myself, kind of a kind of a mental health thing. So yeah, no, it's a blast. So. <laughs> So they're thinking maybe some kids hopped on the train for some fun, and apparently that happens a lot. So the security guard, he finds him, and he tries to kick him off. So there's a, there's a confrontation, maybe a struggle. Anyway, he ends up dead, and the kids, they take off. So what I'm trying to imagine here is what do those kids do then? I mean, where do they go? What kind of kids are they? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, tell me, what would you do if you were one of those kids? I don't know, like, call the police. What, would you what if those other kids were your friends? Yourself. I think someone I'd still call the police if someone got killed or if it was an accident or whatever. Right, now I understand that. But now what if Hey, Alex. Hey. I'm going to have a seat. Sorry I pulled you out of class. That's all right. Uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, I have a brother, a little brother, 13. 13? Do you have a sister? No. How about a girlfriend? Yes. OK, where was she that night? My girlfriend, Jennifer, was with her other friends. Did you happen to give her a call at any point? I mean, do you have a cell phone? No, I didn't give her a call. We actually just started going out. All right, so, all right, well, so hold on then. So as of a couple weeks ago, she wasn't your girlfriend then, right? Right, like, well, she, yeah, she hasn't really put out yet, so hmm. we're not really hanging out so that how, much. So how is that going? She's nice and everything, I guess. Mm -hmm. well, you sound kind of unsure. Well, we haven't really hung out that much. All right, tell you what. I'm trying to think of the situation here. I've got a security guard, and we find him deceased on the railroad tracks. We're thinking, you know, maybe he tripped or he fell, but the autopsy says he was struck by an object. On top of that, we've got a witness. He says he saw someone toss him over the bridge into the river. We happen to have that object, and it's a skateboard. Now, the funny thing is, on that skateboard... I don't know. Most of the people at Paranoid don't really skate. They just like big for change and stuff. You know what? i got to cut this short here. I'm going to give you my business card. If there's anything you can add to this, give me a call, all right? Okay. okay. So can I go back to class? Yeah, you bet. Thanks, man. Right. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do one where it just like 
not even on the script, it was just like... About yeah. acting, like, I think, because usually, like, the first times, like, when the camera's on me, I, like, try to stay exactly on the script, and it just sounds like too, like, I don't know, it just doesn't sound like someone would actually say that. You just have to relax and, you know, tone your voice down a little bit and just, like, just become relaxed, like, your body and how you would normally be saying it. And it was really easy for me because most of the stuff I was saying, like, my character in the movie is pretty much like me, except I'm not really depressed and stuff. Staying working with all guys is definitely a different dynamic because they have their boy thing going. So like, okay, I'm the girl. Now what? Because I can't skateboard, you know, or anything, and they have that little world. But it's still cool because it's kind of fun as like an like observe sometimes and watch them behave. <laughs> it can get kind of crazy. It's funny. I am. I already had my camera. Where are you? Huh? Yeah, I rode the bike. Which one was riding the bike on this first day? I was on a road trip with some of my buddies to Portland to be in a skateboard competition. And we saw a casting call and we decided to go check it out. None of us were really very serious about it, but we just thought, what the heck? And I got called back, naturally. And, and then I ended up being in the movie. Where do I go? <laughs> you go to school with that. Fine, I think, I don't know. Do you have your books? When we're on a set, we have to um, take school in the day, you know, in between takes and stuff. And the days we don't work, we'll go in and do school with the teacher. But school's very interesting on the set because the guys don't like to do their work. <laughs> I don't, probably shouldn't be saying that, but <laughs> they, like, can't focus on their work. And I can, so it's funny watching them just kind of try to avoid doing their work. And I'm like, well, if you would just do it, then we'd be done. I wonder if it's... Honestly, this is the stupidest stuff I've ever had in my entire life. What? Like, my locker project for Spanish. Your locker project? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. I know I'm so good at Spanish. I need to... Are you done with this? Yeah, I'm done with that. like in our back apartment thing and um, he made pottery and stuff so he's really good at that and um, so he was like nature boy and uh, it, was, it was cool because he was a fun guy to hang out with he actually went to somewhere in like Africa for a really long time and made pottery in this remote village or something 
But, and then he wanted to go to like Antarctica or something or some Alaskan area where there's like icebergs everywhere and he wanted to take that boat but like no you know how everyone dies there because there's the icebergs everywhere he's like well I'm gonna make a lot of money and we're like right life money life money these are really nice houses you know? Wow. Some weird guys looking at me through a camera. Skateboarders built this park. It was built by skateboarders for skateboarders, maintained by skateboarders. The only reason why it's still here today is because of the skateboarders. If it wasn't for all the skaters around the world, basically, that just showed up on random work days and just, I mean, basically, whoever showed up for the day and wanted to work, that was the work crew for the day. There, I mean, uh, there's, you know, the small band of renegades, you know, we just kind of poached the land and made it ours. We won't stop. 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 What if you were alone? I killed him. What were you doing down there? We had originally planned to sleep at his house that night. You sound kind of unsure. How'd it go? What do you mean? How was that going? I came to confess. That's one. 
move out the night of the 16th with a security guard. We'll find the, um, the scene stuff. Should be impressive. I hit it. Did what? I what? killed the security guard. What time was it? Yet? Midnight. What were you doing at midnight? Hop in a train. Oh, and lost the name on the same one. So it yeah. says Nelson. Those are stamped into a stamp. Grab it from a blow. Get out of here. Can't you waste any time? So my boss is thinking that, you know, hey, maybe some kids hopping on a train, have some fun. I told you not to call at this time of night. I'm not going to tell you again, okay? up dead and the kids take off. So what I'm trying to imagine is what do these kids do here? Uh, where do they go? What kind of kids are they? I was a kid, I used to hop freights out of San Francisco and then take the Greyhound bus back. So it's, I think it's pretty natural a kid wanted to hop a train, like run away in the circus, <laughs> just being young. Unfortunately, age has, has a way of hardening people's attitudes. They forget and um, 
it's like, you know, it, they just forget that they were young and you just got to stay loose, I think. Just hold on no matter what. So, I have a question. Okay. I just don't want nothing to happen. I want everything safe. Gus will decide when he wants you to swing and hit Mike. You're going to swing. When you're swinging, all you got to do is say Mike. You're okay with hearing, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're going to say Mike. Hold on to the tail. And you can say Mike and then turn and swing. Okay. One. Thank you. Two. Three. doing a train scene, having two guys jumping on a train and then jumping off of a train. So that's basically what we're doing here on this movie. I'm gonna try the third. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, you can do this here. How bored are we? I'll do another. You messed up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's pretty boring so far. But. No. Once we get shooting us, we'll be pretty cool. <laughs> so what's going to happen? Hot tub scene. Probably part of scene. Gonna yeah. get it on. Alex and Jennifer can get it on. Right now, as we speak. How about you guys? Just a hot tub scene. Yeah. I wish you could do more. <laughs> like we, could, we could be in the sex scene. What? Just watch her and be fine. <laughs> what? Just watch her. Kind of hey, Jennifer, let's go ride. Let's go ride our ponies. You guys can hand over your robes to us and we'll. My thing's not over there. Oh, it burns. It burns. Oh my god! <laughs> it does. Is it cold? Oh, no, it's hot. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and, and it's burning my feet. No feet. Billy's in. We lost camera. Oh, no, 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 Like what? So jump like in. maybe he knows something. He's okay. Go ahead so and Gabe, go ahead and try to. It's I'll gonna your way in there. Oh, you serious? Yeah, fight your way in there. You don't want to pick No, you get better. Oh. Sacrifices, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost over. Oh my god. So, how, am I like uh, really tired from the scene before? So, like, I can't just play. You're gonna get really mellow in that water, so. <laughs> oh, that feels good. So, I can't just be like, do you think Lou knows more than he's telling us? Like, that? I just have to be like, oh, yeah, just gotta relax. Yeah, do I didn't fart. Oh, it's on the wrong. It's air bubbles, I swear. Gotcha. Okay, girls, you're gonna turn your horses around and you're gonna start moving towards that fence. Stick it together. Go ahead, they're filming. So, let's go. Right, detective. Right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, detective, you always say detective. Well, just because it'll just help us remember. Um, yeah, because it's, it's been like an hour, gosh. Okay, so. Okay. The slate, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Rand, let me know when you can. Yeah, I'm good. We're rolling. Roll please. That's me. Got it. 78 apple, take one marker. Eight on the lens. Action. Do you think the detective knows more than he's telling us? What? Like, maybe he knows something and he's playing dumb. Like, he's trying to play a trick on us. I doubt it. Yeah, but the whole thing is pretty sketchy, though. A detective out of school talking to skateboarders? Dude, the cops are stupid. I mean, why do you think they're cops? I mean, they're like, get paid as much as a janitor. Yeah, but maybe they do for other reasons. 
Like what? Dude, adults do shit for money. There are no other reasons. Okay, go again. Good stay on him. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm.